Hey guys, welcome to a new book video. I have found that I need to practice doing intros. I don't know how to introduce a video. But anyways, today I decided that I'm just gonna do a little reading vlog. A little what I read throughout the week and also try to read as much as possible. So basically like trying to finish my physical TBR reading vlog. First of all, this week started off so good. If you saw a school night routine in my life, if you didn't, go and watch it. It's linked up in one of the corners. I filmed that yesterday. So today it is the what something April. 16th maybe? I don't know. Oh, I really don't know. I'm terrible. So I filmed that last night. I had a really good morning and night and just generally day yesterday. I slept so well and this morning I got up. I was rested. I ate a really good breakfast that kept me full throughout the whole day, which was amazing. I also had a really good lunch, but I didn't even eat all of my lunch. It was really nice just having a good lunch, a good breakfast, everything. Also, I've never been academically gifted, okay? I've never been like a school girly. I got good grades, okay? I'm just a huge procrastinator and I have concentration problems so like school and me not always been besties but when I see I scroll on TikTok seeing everybody's like giving up on academic comeback giving up it's not happening while I've always been like that but this year I manifested something good because suddenly my academic comeback came my brain just started working it feels like I'm li literally taking medicine without taking medicine which is amazing so I'm really happy I'm really happy that was all I wanted to say like things have been going really good these past two weeks which is amazing because these past two weeks I haven't even had things going on so I've not been distracted I've just been really happy I I am just going to read lots. Talk about books, everything books. I'm gonna go book shopping. The closest bookstore to my school, which is the best bookstore in Oslo, has a sale. So what do you think I'm gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start this video off by talking about the book I finished today. This is the book I finished today. This is I Was Born For This by Alice Osman. It is about Angel, who is a really big fan of this band called The Art. We get two point of views. We get Angel's point of view, and we also get Jimmy's point of view. Jimmy is the kind of front man of The Ark. Jimmy is Angel's favorite in the arc. If you didn't know, I am a fangirl to my core and I am a really big One Direction fan and this reminds me so much of that. And I could see a lot of myself in Angel. It really got me reflecting over what it is to be a fan and what it is to believe in something and, you know, fandom. I also got smarter because of this book, I think. I give it three stars. Angel is going to London to meet with her long distance bestie, who's also a fan of the arc. Her name is Juliet. And they're there to see the arc and go to their meet and greet and their concert. And they're also going to this like fan event earlier in the week. <laughs> And then Juliet suddenly mentions that she's also invited another friend who's also a fan of the Ark and his name is Matt. So the three of them are staying together. The vibes aren't really vibing. Angel and Juliet was really like having the best time before Mac came into the picture and he kind of just like started really talking to Juliet. But anyways, Jimmy and Angel's paths cross. Some stuff happens. I'm not gonna say too much, but Angel meets her idol, a guy she's loved since she was a kid. You'll have to read the book to find out what happens, but I don't really know what to think about it. I thought it was really fast paced. Like I got through it really quick. I also think Alice Osman is a wonderful writer. Like she has this little universe and I love it. It's so wholesome, so cute, and also faces problems and life problems in a really real way. I think her representation is really good. The main guy, Jimmy, also really struggles with anxiety, which I can relate to. And the way that was written, from a personal perspective, I thought it was really good. But I guess that's debatable. It is a really like personal thing, so I can't say that it was good for you. If you're dealing with anxiety, it could be different for you. I don't know. The storyline was good and it was different. You wouldn't think when you read the back of this that that's what's gonna happen in the book. But it was also, I don't know, I just, my mind is kind of blank on this book. Like I liked it and I definitely got through it. I'm a girl who needs to feel a lot when I read a book, right? This book didn't make me feel that much. Like I related to the characters a lot, but I didn't feel the emotions. And I think that's why I feel like kind of blank about this book kind of is a little boring, I guess. I kind of, I need this book to marinate in my brain. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this book, but three stars for now, at least. Now we have come to the book I'm gonna start this whole vlog with. One of Us is Next by Karen McManus. I read One of Us is Lying. Didn't love it. I think I reviewed this book, but it has marinated. I like it. Like I could, I think I, if I reread it, I would like it more, but also I got that book spoiled for me so I like always knew what was gonna happen I can't really have an opinion on the book when I got it spoiled because I knew what was gonna happen so I wasn't it wasn't gonna be such a plot twist it wasn't going to be anything big for me because I knew what was going to happen you know what I mean so I feel like I would like this book more and this time it is a game of truth or dare it says another year another drama a whole new set of rules 
so we'll see. If you don't know, One of Us is Lying is about a group of teenagers out of school and they're in detention one day and then one of them dies, which is kind of crazy. There were five students. Everybody thinks that one of the four other students did it. They obviously did it, so they kind of come together to try and figure out who actually did it. It actually was really interesting. Don't get it spoiled for you because <laughs> it's horrible. It is horrible. Maeve, Meeve is Bronwyn's little sister. One of the main characters in this book is Bronwyn's little sister. But anyways, I've been yapping for so long. Let's read. It's the next day, babs. I'm a little cold, as you can see. I just posted a video, so go and watch that. It's a night routine. Why does my hair look like this? I'm gonna talk a little bit about books because this video is about books. As you saw, started this yesterday. I'm on page, what page am I on? I'm on page 40 for this. I really wanna get to page 100, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because I need to revise for my maths. I have a mock exam in maths. I'm kind of crying, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about this book, which I borrowed from our school library. It's a Norwegian book called Davide Inge by Oliver Lovretsky. I think this is his debut novel, and he literally is 19 years old, and he wrote this. It's only gotten like 10 out of 10 ratings, five stars. Look at this only amazing ratings i really understand it because it's written in a way where it's like not more than three paragraphs on a page and it's also written in kind of a different type of norwegian there's a lot of slang it's written so good it's funny it's emotional it's touching like it's everything i'm literally just on page 122 or something we started reading it in class and our teacher gave us like 54 pages to read of this book in class on monday and she didn't give us more than that and i was like i finished the pages i need to read the whole book so i went to the library and i lent it because of course i'm gonna read it it's so good it's so good i recommend every norwegian out there who's watching les book of folkens les den shout out to oliver lovrenski for the my god you can skrive it better dritt bra no words no matter what kind of books you like just read it because you're gonna like it i don't know if i'm gonna try and finish this or if i'm gonna continue and one of us is next i think i'm gonna read this i'm gonna go upstairs get a little late night snack and just look through the things that I need to know for tomorrow's mock exam. I also need to put out my outfit for tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm just gonna go with these pants. On test days, when we have tests, I will not wear jeans, okay? I won't. I will wear pajamas to school, joggers, anything else than jeans on test days. If I have exams, if I have midterms, you will see me looking like a trash bag. Nothing else, because if I wear anything else, I'm gonna fail everything. You should go watch my other video that I was the last video I posted, I posted on Monday, Week in My Life thing. And you should go watch that because I actually think I'm pretty funny in that video. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm calling myself funny. I think I'm kind of funny. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just cringe. The Torture Poets Department tomorrow night! This is, oh my God. The, oh my God. Are you guys excited for the Torture Poets? Because I am. I can't, like I'm crying. I'm so excited for the Torture Poets. Oh my God. And I think she's releasing a book. What if we get Reputation Taylor's version as well tomorrow? Because she's been hinting, like the Easter eggs have been leading up to it. Everybody watching this, this is your reminder to go listen to Taylor Swift, go listen to the Torture Poets Department, go watch my other videos. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna go up and eat because I'm hungry. I'm just putting some of my books back because I just found a book review thing for my friend's little sister. <laughs> who wanted some book recommendations. Anyways, this is actually a really good spot to film in. This is a cute spot. I hate all my filming spots in this room, but this is a cute one. I like this spot. So I totally did not revise at all. <laughs> Every time I don't revise for maths, it suddenly turns out amazing. And the one time, oh my God, I'm not particularly good at math, but I'm better at math than I am at science. You know what I mean? Because math is just like numbers and some letters, but numbers and letters you need to, I used to be, so good. I used to be the 
best at algebra. And I forgot algebra, so <laughs> now I'm not the best anymore. I probably should have revised a little bit for this test because I have forgotten a lot of stuff that we've been doing. And also it's a mock exam, so it doesn't count on my grade if I do bad, it just counts if I do good. I'm just telling you guys right now, my eyesight is so bad. I can't even see if this is focusing. I don't expect to go in there and get an A. I don't expect that at all. But I actually think it's gonna be fine. I have been yapping for a long time now. I'm gonna read. next day i had my maths mock exam and unfortunately it went really bad just i know i'm smart enough i just really should have revised i have something fun to show you because this is a book video and i have a book haul because it was three for two at my favorite bookstore Nule. kind of thing like barnes and noble but in norway the best and biggest one is like right by my school it's at a place called el dorado it's a really good bookstore and they're always updated. They always have new releases. They always have the cute covers. It's the most aesthetic bookstore. Like it starts like up here. You look downstairs into like book heaven. Everything you can need, everything you want. It's super big. The best bookstore. I broke my book rule. It was a really special occasion. And also I have this, it's the, it's the thing where you get this every sixth book for free. So no matter what book you buy, I had that one as well. So I got four books for the price of two. So of course I'm gonna... Of course I'm gonna, you know? I made myself broke because books in Norway are really expensive, so two books, $33. It would have been $66, so I'm just happy it's not $66. Four books for $33 is insane in Norway. These are the books I got. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. So, first of all, I just wanna show you something because if you didn't already know, the Inheritance Game series is my favorite book series of all time. And I have this copy of the last book that I haven't opened, I haven't touched it, I bought it the day it came out. The problem is it's so big, because normally authors, I think it's a money grab thing that authors do, they release the huge covers, and then when it's been out for like 8 months or something, they release the normal sized covers. So I've not read it because I didn't want to break the spine if I want to sell it because I'm going to buy the normal sized version, right? And I don't even know why I bought this version, I was just so excited, but I didn't even read it, so I'm, I'm selling this one if anybody wants it if you don't care about sizes but i do and after eight months of asking everywhere they had the normal size like look at the comparison this is crazy much smaller like actually look at the size comparison this is crazy so they had the normal sized one the back of this also has the new cover of the fifth book in the series the grandest game you can see there that's the fifth book that's coming out. The other books have gold letters, and I'm so sad she didn't continue with the gold letters because it was so beautiful when it was gold. I don't like this one more. But it's fine, it's fine. This is the smaller version, so that's one of the books I got. Also, if you didn't know, I absolutely love Jennifer Lynn Barnes, the author of that series, The Inheritance Games. And my second favorite series in the whole entire world is The Natural series. And I've only bought the first one, and I read the first one, but I got the second one. Now I have Killer Instinct as well. They are literally so fast paced so good and the covers cutest she does mystery like nobody else honestly jennifer lynn barnes deserves to be paid a crazy amount of money because she's my therapist i've also been looking for the small version of happy place by emily henry and they finally had that too she just came out with funny story i think today or something which is her new release and they had that too but they only have the big covers and the hard covers so i did buy it i do love the american covers though but i have all of the others that are there, I have all the others in the UK covers, so I had to get this in the UK cover as well. The last and fourth book that I bought today, Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I haven't bought this because I wanted the original orange cover with the paper things. I talked about that in my what I want to read in 2023, like I wanted that special cover, but I realized that it's time for me to actually buy this because I think Christina Lauren made all their other books look like this as well, like the same type of style on the cover. Kind of like Emily Henry's books, to be honest, look kind of similar. If all the other books are in that same like style, I'm gonna buy that one now. If I want to buy the other ones later, they're gonna match and it's gonna look really cute. So. I don't know, it's giving spring, so I was like, it's spring. 
I need this. I'm gonna buy it. I've also wanted this ever since I started reading, so. Hi, Sarah, if you're watching, I bought this because of you, as I do with everything else. I'm absolutely dying because I just bought a lot of books that I've wanted for forever. So I'm so happy this made my day. It's Friday tomorrow. I'm just gonna spend the whole day reading and maybe start editing this vlog. I'm gonna put these books where they belong. I don't know if you can see this properly, but here I have some romances. This is a little bit of fantasy, but I think it's also romance. I already know where these two are going to be because I have I have a whole Jennifer Lynn Barnes spot in my room because I love Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So I need to find a spot for these two and I already know where they're going. Or I don't know where this one's going. When I finish all my Ali Hazelwood books, I'm gonna put them here but for now i only have the love hypothesis i also own love on the brain and love theoretically so i'm gonna put them there when i finish them also i've not finished all of these books if you can't see i have all my emily henry books here which are beach Wave, which i read i read it program five amazing book i love it i think i want to reread it then i have you and me on vacation which i've not read and book lovers which i read and i did not like i recommend it because p other people might like it i just it wasn't my taste those are the three i have and then this is the one that comes after that and then funny story is the newest release that came like yesterday or today or something so I'm gonna put this on top of book lovers because that's its designated spot. I think I'm gonna move my Lauren Asher books to my TBR cart. And then I'm gonna also move you and me on vacation, I think. This looks so good. All the Emily Henry books look so good. That looks so good. I love that. These are some of my favorite book covers. I just have to talk about these because I love this book. I haven't read this yet, but this book is so good. Read it. So now I have Happy Place here and then Christina Lauren. Christina Lauren. So this is what my shelf's gonna look like. And then I'm gonna put these two, which are Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher, which I bought in Belfast. And I love Lauren Asher. She has written the Dirty Air series and it's a Formula One series. And then the fine print, which I think I'm gonna love because me and books about Billy have a special connection, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna eat these two up. I know it. And I love the cover. When I get the money for it, I'm gonna have a whole Lauren Asher shelf. This is one of my favorite covers in the world as well. Do you see this? I love this. The problem though is I don't have much space left on my TBR cover. In love with this cover. Done and dusted. She also has a new release called Swift and Saddled, I think. And I love I love that cover as well, but this one is my favorite. This is my TBR cart. I have my books here. And then I have yarn for crocheting. I have a microphone because when I'm in bed, I sit and sing with this. It's not even working. I have a plant. I have toilet paper. I have toilet paper in case I spill something because when I tell you I spill everything I eat, it's true. But now I don't have space for these books. So I don't know what to do about that. Oh, I also have Loath to Love You by Ali Hazelwood. I forgot that. I think I'm going to put these here and then you and me on vacation and then put these two here. That's good, I think. I'm gonna put Done and Dusted here as well, like that. Nice. That one's a bag. That is a mad thing. By the way, if you didn't know this, my book corner. My chair is horrible right now, but we're not gonna think about that. I'm gonna fix them later. This is my shelf in honor of the queen herself, Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So obviously I'm gonna put my books there now. The Brothers Hawthorne. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my, oh. I'm in shock because it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna put Killer Instinct here. And then I have The Naturals, but my mom's borrowing it. So I'm gonna put The Naturals here. You know, you see the, you see the vibe I'm going for? Oh my God, so pretty. So pretty. I can't breathe, like I'm dying. I'm gonna read now. Like I can't wait to read these books and to read these books, I have to finish the book I'm currently reading. So of course I'm gonna sit down and finish. By the way, by the way, while trying to get my brain to focus, I decided to read my book while I had my math thing. So I literally finished my Norwegian book, Davi Vajner of Oliver Lovrensky. One of the best books I've ever read. I'm so grateful that my teacher introduced me to this book. I literally sent her a message and was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, because crazy good book, emotional, funny, beautifully written, amazing the love in it was ugh, i was dying the found family aspect oh my god the found family oh my god the found family it was gut-wrenching amazing i couldn't put it down i loved it so good no words so uh it was just crazy yeah that oliver lovrensky is like man bro is this so that <laughs> you are a genius crazy at the 19th year it's not possible it can't be also crazy bra book like Insane. All my fellow Norwegians must read this book. I don't care about which genre you like. Because if someone comes and writes such a comment, it's not so good. I will come back to you. It's crazy good. Crazy good. I died. I was dying. So I love it. It was like a sketchy review. I'm going to read, but first I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to walk Louie, and then I'm going to read.
I'm at a bookstore in Oslo. It's really early, it's like 11. We came here at half past eight. And look what I found. Look at this version of Better Than The Movies. Please. First of all, Better Than The Movies is one of my favorite books. And I gave my copy to a friend of mine called Hilde. Hi Hilde. Because it was like a Galantine's gift and I thought it was cute giving one of my favorite books annotated to her. And that was also this much bigger so it didn't fit in my bookshelf, it was kind of big. This one is a normal book size. It's purple, the other one was light blue. Purple is my favorite color and her name is in pink. And it's just so cute. 